there is also a very interesting um, ideology that goes along with this kind of genetic determinism. I've already mentioned it before, that by birth, you are by birth, you know, what you are. And, and it is something called the uh, Darwinian theory, neo-Darwinian theory of natural selection, which again reinforces that. It says, if you've got good genes, you, you will be selected, you will be, you know, like selected by nature, so-called so natural selection. And hence, again, you can see that it reinforces this. You see, you are where you are because you got good genes. You are a king because you got good genes. You are a pauper because you got bad genes and you've been, you're being selected out. You, so, so no complaints. So again, it's this kind of ideology that's based on competition. You see, competition now is ruling the world. We have ministries of competition. We haven't got hardly any ministries of cooperation as far as I know. So it is this kind of ideology that is ruling society. That there is no society, by the way, no, no society, no ecosystem because every individual is out for himself or herself and all the species are fighting each other. So this is a kind of horrible world in which, horrible Darwinian world in which we, we live. And it is quite clear that this kind of ideology is, 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 is guiding, you know, the World Trade Organization, this neoliberal ideology, economics, which is, again, it, it, it there's a lot of things wrong with it, but part of it is just, you know, this emphasis on competition. The other thing wrong with it also is that exploitation rules, that it's actually, um, that it, it, it doesn't actually acknowledge that you cannot have a, a, a theory of, uh, economic theory that ignores the the time, the time scale on which nature regenerates, it treats as though uh, you, everything has to grow continuously. Now, nothing grows continuously except for cancer. <laughs> so we have, a, we have an ideology which is like a huge cancer on society and we've been dominated by this kind of ideology in every every uh, field, it's the, the mainstream, you know, they have this kind of uh, knowledge system that reinforces each other and everything else is thrown out. I'm a very unusual kind of scientist even if I may say so myself because I've, I have changed fields very often I've uh, also, um, I'm interested in art, I'm interested in uh, literature, but wherever I go, well, anthropology, everything, you know, but wherever I go into each field, I find myself at odds with the mainstream. And I used to think I must be crazy <laughs> until when I got old enough and realized that actually all these, they, you know, go like that together. They reinforce each other and they have the same roots. You know, because science is not independent of society. Like Darwinian theory arose out of this whole general ideology in Victorian England where military might and, you know, competition and everything is supposed to be the, the uh, the, the, the thing that drives progress, you know, you cannot get away with it, from it. And so this Darwinian science then is imported back to support the rest <laughs> of the knowledge system.